Good afternoon. This example will be a heparin drip. Sometimes you'll need to calculate a, out a heparin drip based on your patient's condition. A couple possibilities of your patient condition could be uh, atrial fibrillation or pulmonary embolism. And so this example here is going to be a patient who we'll just say has pulmonary embolism and the doctor has ordered the heparin drip to be infused at 18 units per kilogram per hour. So now that I know that I have 18 units per kilogram per hour, I, do, I need to find out what is my patient weight. In this example, we'll say that the patient's weight is 91 kilograms. And we also need to know how much, uh, how does the pharmacy make the bag or provide the bag for you. And so we'll just say at this facility that you're at, we have 25,000 units in 500 mLs. Okay, so the first thing we need to know in order to be able to give this drug to this patient is how many units per hour are we going to infuse? So one of the things I like to do is to put out here exactly what it is I'm solving for. By doing that, it allows me to then guide myself with what information I'm plugging into the dimensional analysis. Railroad tracks is what I call them. So I know that I need units per hour and this right here already gives me the units I need, units per hour. So I'm going to start out by putting my 18 units per kilogram per hour and now what I'd like to do is identify that I already have my numerator factor and I already have my denominator factor. So all I need to do now is eliminate this kilogram and the way to do that is by adding my patient's weight. And then I cross that out and cross that out and then that gives me my numbers of units. And in this example then, it ends up with 1638 units per hour. So that's how much heparin will be infused in the patient over an hour. It doesn't tell us how fast we'll infuse it. It just tells us to what point, how many units is this patient going to receive over an hour. Now, I need to find out, I've got to program that in the pump. So I need to program my pump to tell me how many mils per hour. So at this point then, I know I need hours and so I'll come over here and I'll take my 1,638 units per hour and now I already have my, my denominator. I'm already settled there. But I have units here and I want mils. So what can I do to change that? Well, I still have my bag here. I have to know how much is in each bag. And so I can then say, I need to cancel out units because units is something I don't want. So I'm going to flip this over. And I'm going to put the units on the bottom and the 500 mLs on top. And now I have my mLs just like I wanted here and I cancel out my units, cancel out my units, and then that tells me at this point, then when I do the math, I end up with 32.76 mLs per hour, and then based on what kind of pump I'm using, I will either put that at 32.8 or round up to 33. And so that's how you take a units per kilogram per hour and change it into how much how many units per hour or also how many mils per hour